Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video and today it's going to be a DLC idea video but before we're going to discuss the DLC idea video this build right here is still in the dry oasis safari zone I'm still gonna do a, a, a commentary park tour video when I'm getting a little bit better but I did post a video of the tour without commentary because I couldn't stop coughing but let's talk about the DLC which is most likely going to happen because right around June it's going to be the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park the movie now what is the potential DLC going forth there are are, are we going to have a campaign or are we gonna have something big that's what we're gonna discuss in today's video and I'm gonna give a shout out to Jeffers the ex waddle um, I know a lot of people have suggest the 30th anniversary but he was the first one yeah he was the first one and he, he's a very supportive in my channel so I gotta give a, a shout out to him um, so let's just talk straight into it um, oh before and foremost this is possibly the last DLC idea video I'm still gonna put more suggestions but the only reason why I'm, I'm going to end the series is because one Dinotopia I've been lagging with Dinotopia you know this park has been I've been building this park ever since December and I'm still <laughs> You know it's still stagnant i'm not even being serious in making this wonderful beautiful part so we're, we're still going to talk about more potential dlc but i'm going to do that combining with dinotopia you know what i mean so uh, as long as we're still talking about the you know hitting two birds in one stone but anyways let's just get started here it is the the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary already Jurassic Park is promoting it you know they have a banner a nice banner so there's might be a lot of content yet to come probably around the summer because that's when the movie comes out we might have something for Camp Cretaceous um, we might have something for um, Universal you know we might have a new movie we just don't know but maybe there's something big going on now the huge expectations is Jurassic World Evolution 2 are we gonna have a DLC for it is this going to be the last DLC we just don't know but this is what's good about it we just love to speculate and have our own ideas and opinions about it and then we're just in the comments we'll just have a respectful discussion what is and what isn't you know what I mean this is this is what it is so let's just talk about the DLC itself. Now a lot will a lot has predicted that we're gonna have a DLC in June. It's gonna be the 30th anniversary Jurassic Park. But what will be the title? Will it be the 30th anniversary pack? A lot of people say it's going to be not the film itself, just because we already have a DLC from the first game, the return for Jurassic Park, which gave us the, the Jurassic Park skins. And the aviaries and the compies everybody wants the compies in the game but a lot of people also suggest maybe it's not about the film just because we already got that DLC and we got all the content that is provided except there's few skins like the Parasaurolophus skin from the first movie that isn't in the game and a lot of people wanted that but what I'm also thinking that maybe and a lot of people are thinking this as well is not of the movie but the Michael Crichton 1990 a book that is going to be based off and I think that is a good idea as well because there's a lot of stuff in the novel that isn't in the film and then isn't portrayed in the film and it could bring it into this game I think it's a good idea like for example the river ride was in the novel but it wasn't in the movie but they could implement the river ride which everybody's asking for some sort of boat ride in the game and we still haven't got that this is a good opportunity to actually bring the boat ride here and kind of portray that into the narrative into some sort of campaign or chaos theory you know what i mean it's a good introduction the only um i could say a little um contradictive with the novel and the movie are the characters for example john hammond 
um, John Hammond was a very kind of like a jerk in the novel, but he's a lovable teddy bear in the movie. And John Hammond had a gruesome death. Spoilers alert. Uh, he fell on a hill and the copies paralyzed him. So his, could we see that? Maybe we could, I, we will probably not see it this in the, in the in the game but would they mention it i don't know it's gonna be interesting but another idea i could think of for this dlc is the anniversary of the the franchise not the novel the franchise itself jurassic park world and camp cretaceous put all of this into one humongous dlc and all of the content that we didn't get from the previous DLC, even Camp Cretaceous, could fit in here. And it's just one big celebration. They could bring whatever that is missing into this pack. So let's just talk about that right away. But let me know what you guys think about um, this humongous DLC. Now it is possible we're gonna have a second Camp Cretaceous pack. But let's say that, you know, since this is a celebration of Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World, you know, it is not that far fetched that maybe, maybe that we don't get a Camp Cretaceous uh, to pack and it would just be in this huge bundle of one big celebration of DLC, possibly the last DLC. I hope not, but whatever. We're going to talk about that later on too. But like Camp Cretaceous, you know, we're missing some some dinosaurs. Yeah, some dinosaurs. I'm not going to talk I'm going to talk about the dinosaurs as well at the end. But some skins like Little Edie. Little Edie, Big Edie, one of the one of the Edies. We're missing that. The Spinosaurus, we're also missing that. The Green Raptor, we're missing that. You know, they could bring the brads. Go ahead, bring the brads, but but make it as a statue. I don't mind. I just don't want to be a mobile. But, you know, whatever in Camp Cretaceous, you know, that is missing in the first DLC, they could bring it here. Uh, let's talk about some skins since we're in that topic. How about the, since the Jurassic Park first movie, we didn't get that Parasaurolophus skin. I know that Hadrosaur has so many skins, but we didn't get that original Parasaurolophus skin. So is the Gallimimus as well. You know, let's just talk about more of, how about Jurassic World stuff? You know, like, like again, I want skeletons. I want taxidermy statues, structures of dinosaur. You know, bring if we can't get Concavenator in this game, can we just have that Concavenator statue from Fallen Kingdom? You know, how about that? Um, it's not a Triceratops, but that Ceratopsian skull that killed the Indoraptor. How about we could have that as a decoration? That would be so fun to have. Heck, let's go to maps. Let's just go to maps right now. How about since we're in a topic of Jurassic World, you know, this is kind of far fetched to actually um, think about, but like the Lockwood ma in the manor, you know what I mean? The not inside, that would kind of be ridiculous. And actually, it's no way. That could be a good idea. No, no, I meant like in that area, and then you could see the mansion in the distance, like they did with the Owen cabinet in Nevada, you know? Or. You know, since this is a celebration of the 30th anniversary of Jurassic, the franchise, maybe we could bring back the old maps from the first game. You know, that that some of the maps there are really, really good. I really like Isla Sorna map. Much better than the map that they have here in the second game by a long shot. The only problem is that they have that big fat mountain at the center, but it's a really good map. And I would love to see some of the old maps come back in this game as well. You know, I made some good parks in, on my Xbox 360, and I would love to recreate this in the second game. So that would be fun to, to do, you know what I mean? Just bring back the old maps. Um, let's just talk about the dinosaurs really quick. So, of course, the biggest one that we're missing is Microceratus. We're all scratching our heads why it didn't make it into the Malta, but I think 
you know the four limit is their rule even though it's not confirmed that it is but micro Soratus, i feel like it's 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 a a shoe in we got segisaurus another one that has been in the original um <clears throat> excuse me in the novel and in the the map of the jurassic park the, you know the the map of the layout you know and then if we're talking about you know bringing in let's say the cap again with the camp cretaceous if we don't have a separate dlc for that they could bring in tarbosaurus and then nothosaurus maybe um the spinoceratops but in my opinion if we're still gonna get four it could be segisaurus uh microceratus um tarbosaurus and could be the other one i'm going to guess it's probably going to be a hybrid at this point i don't know what you guys think will be the remaining dinosaurs or we're probably going to get those three segisaurus microceratus or they just just you know they could put whatever dinosaur that they feel like i don't know i don't know what they what they're thinking you know they could probably pick one of the Mattel toys, you know, because there's loads of dinosaurs that they could pick. But I want to hear what you guys think. What kind of dinosaurs we're going to have other than Stegi, uh, Microceratus or Stegisaurus or any of the Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs. Other than that, what else am I missing? Because I'm pretty sure I'm missing some but let's just talk about the dlc is this going to be the last dlc now there's a lot of evidence that it might be there's a video that evolution square did that could hint to be the last dlc around june however again she she still don't know for sure and in my honest opinion, I hope not. I want this game to thrive. I want this game to keep going. Just like Frontier's other franchise, Planet Zoo, they are still going. They're still pumping. They're getting stronger and stronger. We're still going to get DLC for that game. The only problem is that one, Planet Zoo is only their IP. And two, this game is a console game. And consoles, unlike PC consoles, they do... They do go out of date, but um, you know, if this is the last DLC, then I'm hoping it is a banger. I'm hoping it's something huge. It's something big, something that it would last a, a for at least a long time. And in, in what I'm talking about in gameplay aspect of things, because if you're thinking about like. You know, let's just put Planet Zoo, for example. It, let's say Frontiers, you know, all of a sudden say, okay, the the Grassland, what is it? The Grassland pack is the last DLC. Yeah, it's disappointing that it would leave out with gra Grassland to be the last DLC. However, I feel like Planet Zoo is already have enough content and tools and videos to post to, to have this longevity, to have this game to last for 10, 20 or more years without a sequel because they already have so much in the game as it is. However, Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't have that. They don't they don't have a lot of content and tools to to be creative enough and to play enough to last not even five years I, I i don't think so it will be a little disappointing if the dlc that we got up from uh the, the 30th anniversary and it doesn't have a lot to play with especially sandbox mode is the only mode that we play in this game i'm sorry like i know campaign at the chaos theory was a good idea but we all play this game for sandbox mode and we don't got nothing we hardly got anything for sand but we don't have a lot of signs we don't have a lot of decorations we don't got lights attractions fences path 
waterfalls, deep water, rocks, trees, foliage. I could go on and on and on. But, you know, for Planet Zoo, they have abundance and creative ideas to actually make it your own unique way. Now, I know it's a PC game. This is a console and a PC game. Something like that cannot happen, which I am I am aware of that. But, you know, at least throw us a bone a little bit because Planet Coaster, even though Planet Coaster in the PC is more superior than the console, they still have a lot of room to play with. You know, people still playing Planet Coaster in consoles till this day, even though Frontier stopped supporting it. I, I, I heard rumors that they might have more DLC yet to come, but we don't know yet. But for Jurassic World, let's say if that the 30th anniversary is the last one, they have a lot to catch up to do, especially in sandbox mode. And if they didn't give us anything in sandbox mode for the next upcoming DLCs, whatever it may be, then the game is not gonna last for a good two years. It's gonna fade and dry just like the first one. Unless, again, Frontier decided to make Jurassic World Evolution 3, which I felt like it is unnecessary. The second game was unnecessary. It doesn't need to happen. They should have focused on the first game and just continue from there, but it is what it is. We got the evolution 2 now and it's already hit the first year and then a year and a half will be in june 11 2023 that's when it hits um <coughs> oh, i'm still a little bit sick but i think that's all i have oh man i do apologize if i'm coughing or you know getting these weird cuts i try not to cough a lot i I felt bad for not posting constantly. I, I that was my goal for this uh, YouTube is to post content each and every day. But you know that that sounds so hard than it looks. I love making content. I want to do more Jurassic Park build. But yeah, I got the I got sick. I was coughing. I'm negative, guys. Don't worry. I'm I'm I don't have the. The COVID or whatever that thing is, um, but it was unexpected as well. And I stopped uploading for four days, four days, five days, almost a week. And I don't like, I don't like that. It, I felt very, very off. It's like I betrayed all you guys who supported me, always love my content, and then I just ghost you guys out of nowhere. So. I didn't want to mention it as well because I don't want personal things in my life be afflicted into YouTube. But I don't want to keep you guys in the dark. Yeah, I'm got <clears throat> I'm sick, very, very, very sick. Actually, last uh, Saturday, it was it was so bad that I couldn't even move or have the energy to do anything. I was in bed the whole day. But I'm getting a little better, so hopefully I can recover and, and provide more Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos. But let me know what you guys think about the, the DLC. Would it be the last DLC? Would it not be the last DLC, you know? Talk to me. Let, let's have a nice discussion. And and yeah, yeah. Let, let's just keep it there as it is. Um, okay, so let's that's out of the way let's talk about some of my updates for this channel now dinotopia is going to be my main priority in the channel for going forward i want to finish this park and i hope you guys can participate in my park building again jervers the Xwaddle, you you have been a very good supportive i mind always comment on my videos and giving me suggestions and that's what I'm looking forward for is not only that I'm building a park, but you guys helping me build as well. And before, you know, if, if you guys are like one of my 20 subscribers when I first started, I did used to have a motto saying like, you know, this is my channel and 
This is my mission, my journey to become one of the greatest Jurassic Park builders out there. But I needed your guys' help. I think I'm going to bring back that motto. I haven't used that model ever since. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys helping me out, comment down below. That's why I always say, give me some suggestions, some advice, some recommendation, whatever, you know, in order for me to, you know, to, to actually be more of a skilled builder. So my biggest priority is Dinotopia. Other videos like I don't know if I want to continue doing the documentary that takes too much time and effort, you know, just to do some camera shots and make it dramatic. I also want to tell a story. I love telling stories at the videos. Now, I don't want just a regular old dinosaur documentary, but I want to have more character in it. So that's going to take a little bit more time. Um, I wanted to put more games into this channel as well. Giga Bash was really good, you know. It, it did a get, got a lot of attention, which I'm surprised. The first Giga Bash video that I made, I gained like 10 subscribers because everybody loves Godzilla, obviously. And I want to keep going with that. I still haven't even touched the other two monsters, so maybe that's the thing. Other games like Path of Titans, I heard that was a fun game, so I want to put that in. We, I don't know. Any suggestion, let me know down in the comments. But this video is dragging way too long. And I'll just leave it up to there. What you guys think would happen in the 30th anniversary. Anyways, this is it for me. I'll see you guys in the next build. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video and there's the final product of dry oasis thank you guys for watching